Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And you'll notice uh, about 200 cycles has gone by since the last episode. I did a lot of digging off camera and some minor tweaks, but mainly digging, which I'll show you down here. This whole section here. Actually, most of the map. <laughs> yeah, you'll notice I've done a lot of digging. Uh, a lot of digging, a lot of sweeping. I did do a three hour time lapse, uh, like it's a 20 minute time lapse of a three hour dig. And I put that up a couple days ago, or yesterday. Uh, the other things I did off camera, I'll explain in a bit, but I first want to get the rocket launched. Because the main focus of this episode will be trying to set up a little mini base on Crossado here. Now I'm a little bit worried when the rocket lands, it's going to fry this area again. It has kind of, sp the heat has kind of spread out a bit. I don't want it to get too hot in here though, or the dupes uh, will, you know, get burnt without suits on. And we don't have suits yet, so... But back to the rocket. I've I've done some preparation here. Uh, let's take a look inside here. We've got... I put a bunch of stuff in this container and then cleared it and put some stuff in and then cleared it. And you'll notice what I got here. We've got some glass for solar panels, plastic if we need it for steam turbines, steel, universal refined metal, good for stuff. Um, and then for food, we've got a lot of muckroot and berry sludge, quite a bit. And now this stuff doesn't rot, so it's good. Uh, we got some 8,000 kilograms of oxalite. Uh, I, it did get pretty warm in here because I noticed the the glass was like 100 degrees when I put it in here. And I was able to cool it kind of back down. So we're going to get our crew assigned. First, we're going to go back from grounded to none. Hopefully I have everything I need. Oh, the other thing we have is dust caps, fungal spores, so I can plant a bunch, of, bunch, a bunch of mushrooms when I get there. So let's change this to crew. I do have one trailblazer module and I have a rover module because the landing pad is not clear. Last episode, unfortunately, the platform got stuck with some dirt here. I think I melted some algae into dirt and now the rocket might be blocked. It might not be. I guess we'll find out. We'll try to land, and if we can't land, we're going to send the rover in. Let's make sure we got everyone on board. No one yet. Jackson's there. He's ready to go. Is there someone standing behind? Okay, Jackson and Amanda, you're ready to go. I think we can launch. As long as everything is ready, let's check the rocket. Change the destination. We're going to Crossado, five tiles away. Oh, actually, I said it, it. I set it to land, and it didn't complain. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Uh, anything else we're ready to go with? Uh, begin, begin launch sequence, I guess. Things are gonna get pretty hot here. Okay, that's off. That's good. Um, let's check the star map here and see how long that journey will take. 2.9 cycles. Lots of time to explain what the heck I did over the last few days here. So as mentioned, a lot of digging. I'm just trying to clear out the whole map. Um, the other little project I did here, I finally started this. I'll kind of explain what I did here. I started from the top right and went this way and then came down to this row, and we'll do another row here. So we want to move the pips over. Let's copy the settings here, onto here, and then clear this. And I have the save set to save every cycle now, just because the game has been crashing on me a lot. I don't know why. Hopefully it doesn't crash during the episode. <laughs> Fingers crossed that it doesn't crash. Um, Okay, pips. Oh, there's only one pip here. I guess we probably should get some more. But let's move this guy. And let's move another guy here into the pip zone. The other thing we want to do is put some sleet wheat in this fridge. Right here. So that it's reachable. Already one. That should get that loaded up. And then we're going to put sleet wheat in this fridge. Cooking ingredient, priority 9. 
And that should get that moved over. And once we get these little pips moved over, we should be good. And then we can remove this ladder. This allows the pip to plant here. It's a very slow process, I'm, I, I gotta warn you. And I did the math on this room. Uh, what did it work out to? Let's see. 100 calories. Uh, it's about 30,000 calories every 72 cycles. <laughs> so, so it's, it's not very good. It, it's, uh, it was more of an experiment to see how this could be done. Now you don't technically need to empty the fridge, but I'm gonna... Uh, well, first we'll make sure this one's not set. Let's clear this one off. So there's nowhere for the sleep weed to go except on the ground. And then we'll, oh, he got it in his mouth already. I find it works better when it's on the ground. Yeah, it was in his mouth and then it wasn't in his mouth. So we'll dump it on the ground there. So there's 24 sleet wheat there. Here they go. Oh, you know what? I forgot to lock them in here. Crap. We gotta lock them in here. Let's get that built. Okay, that should seal that one in. And then we gotta move this guy again. Sorry, little guy. Time to get moved again. So it should work. Food's there. They should come along when they swing by. They'll put it in their little mouth pouches. Otherwise known as cheeks. Yeah, I find these guys so cute. And then they're gonna dig a little, dig a little hole and plant their food in there. Apparently, you can go five tiles between them vertically and just one tile spacing in between them this way. So this one's 92%, so we, should, we might be able to get a harvest during this episode. Okay, pip delivered. Let's see if they get their cheek food. Oh, come on, little guys. There's a, play, there's a place to put it. You can do it. I have faith. There they go. There he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Here goes our little devil. That little cute. Diggy diggy. Planty planty. And it's growing. Move so we can see. It's, it's under there. Okay, let's open this one up. And you can only do one at a time. Otherwise, uh, it doesn't work. So we'll work from right to left. Whenever we get a spare chance, we'll go over here and open that up. Now this is all being chilled by the cold water from two different geysers. A cold slush geyser and a cold salt geyser. Luckily I got a bunch of those on my map. And then it gets it doesn't get warmed up much. And then it comes out here at around minus seven, gets dumped in our water thing, which is actually getting really full. We're not using the water fast enough, if you can believe it. So what else do we do? Um, I made a few of these boxes and then vacuumed them out. Because I think this makes it so the simulation runs, like, doesn't have to run the gas simulation in here. Because there's no temperature, there's no anything like that. There's two of those boxes. There's another one down here. And my end goal is just to box off giant chunks of the map that aren't going to get used. So, and to reduce pathfinding, uh, also do, it, it also helps. So there's only going to be a few routes left to get around. Okay, the game is saving. It takes about 10 seconds to save. There used to be a mod, well there is a mod that lets you reduce the amount of reports that are saved. But it no longer works. I tried it out today. It no longer works, apparently. Uh, I did finally tap into this. I don't think I had this done last episode. Maybe I did. Um, we're not using the gas fast enough, though, as you can see. It gets sent uh, up here. 
and is burnt off here. I guess we could burn it all off completely if we wanted. In fact, we probably should be just burning it off because if we don't, it could clog this line down here. Did anything change here? I made a bunch of containers with the lead just to consolidate it. To help them pick it all up. I did a little bit more digging and carving down here as well. I was trying to get into the zombie spore, spore area here. There's like a million zombie spores in, spores in here. I don't want to go in there necessarily. I was kind of corner building this to squish it away. Uh, we might be able to get in there. I'm not sure. Let's check the rocket though. That's the main... Oh, it's still... Still taking its sweet time. How are they doing inside there? Oh, I remember I forgot to do something on this. Let's uh, view interior. I added this pump here. Uh, if it detects CO2... Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to get them to take their suits off. I should have done that right away. Crap. There was no oxygen in those suits. I mean, getting suit docks built pretty early on will be the main goal, I think. So yeah, we got water for the toilet. Uh, if it detects CO2 here, it uh, pumps the oxygen, the, this oxygen line. Sorry, the oxygen goes, CO2 goes this way, snakes along here and then outside. And I'm not sure if this uh, works. I guess it does work. Let's see. Does that move faster, do you think? Yeah, that's... That's moving faster. And out she goes. Yeah, so it works well in flight. I wasn't sure whether it worked in flight or not. But good to know. I guess we'll try to go full speed here. See if it sticks. Temperature in here is pretty warm. Oh, on the other planet, uh, quite a lot was done as well. Uh, more digging. Dig, dug out this section quite a bit. Uh, cleaned up a bit of the ethanol and stored it in tanks. And I tried to set up some water weed here, but... I ran into a bit of an issue with uh, temperature. I think what I'm going to do here is... Maybe sacrifice this here and put a space heater in here. Now the water that's coming up here is actually really bloody hot. It's uh, 85 degrees. And then I was cooling it in the uh, ethanol that was really cold originally. Uh, and I ended up chilling this area too much. It should be at least, what are these guys like, 22 degrees. It's right on the edge. So we'll put a space heater in there. They're not really efficient, but put a space heater here. Maybe not out of iron. Is that all I have to build out of? No, we got some steel here. A little bit of steel. Put this here. How much power is on this line? 600. We'll use this. And we'll put some automation. Thermal sensor. We don't want it to get too hot can't build there because there's a plant there, so we'll stick it here. And we'll save. Good time to remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay. Automation. So we'll keep this on. I should probably insulate this. I'm a little bit worried the water's gonna trickle out, but. And the bees have been busy. Um, busy bees, as they are. I'll show you in a sec here. Once we get this built, put things on. That's not gonna, that's not gonna, that's gonna take a while to warm up this area. <laughs> 
These ones are growing on the edge here, though. So they'll continue to suck in pretty warm water, which is going to get warmer and warmer as it works its way through. So eventually this will be too hot, and we'll have to cool it down with the ethanol, but... Okay, if the temperature is below 45, let's kick that puppy on. And I might want to do a shift plate. What do we got to build it out of? Uh, we could use... It's high thermal conductivity sounds good. We'll put that right there. I think this worked without leaking, so let's just go see. Do we get any salt water down there? Yeah, a little dribble. How much? Actually, quite a bit. So these are domesticated. Oh, it's going to leak into my ethanol. Crap. <laughs> get them mopped up right away. Oh, these are growing now. They warmed up pretty quickly. Okay, good, that's good. So there's that little project. Uh, a little more digging up there. A little more dig digging in the base. Uh, there was a water pool here I cleaned out. I'm slowly cleaning this one out, and then we'll eventually clean this one out. And This ethanol I want to consolidate at some point. And I ventured over this way to test out some stuff. Um... And yeah, the bees. Let's check out the bees. Look at them. They've eaten a lot of the uranium. There's a whole bunch here. Slowly chipping away. Eating all the exposed uranium. Now we have, let's see here, we almost have 20 tons of enriched uranium now. 22 tons. I will try out nuclear reactors at some point. Uh, let's go back to the base, though. I, I added some dudes to this base as well. There's no... Let's see who's here. What do we have here? We've got... Uh, we've got... Oh, Rene, by the way, is a new Patreon supporter. Thanks for supporting the channel. Welcome to the base. So we got... Rene, Gina, Clix, Ruby, Christina, and Devin. So I think there's three or four new dupes here in this other asteroid. There was plenty of food... It's all mealwood. Uh, I started pickling the mealwood so it would last a little bit longer. So let's... We got pickled meal in here. Put a fridge in that's powered. Before there was no fridge so that was... Food was slowly rotting. Back to here. After the save lag. Oh yeah, we got a bit of cooling here. I was finally able to get into this thing. The way I automated this was with a door. So if it doesn't have a thing underneath it, it can't uh, function. So we've got this set to if, if below five degrees. I just didn't want it to get too cold here. And that was cooling. The steam guys are way the heck up here. Uh, but this thing doesn't come back on for another 13 cycles, so I don't really have to do anything with it at the moment. It, it has warmed up quite a bit again. So I'll turn this pump on here. And what it's doing is it's taking the water up this way and then dumping it in this tank here. I'm just trying to get all this water out of the way. This is like our secondary water tank, so we've got the main water tank which is starting to overflow. <laughs> then we got this backup one, then there's a salt water one on the other planet. We've got too much water. So I'm thinking of doing a big water weed um, grow thing here. I was trying it out, testing it on the other planet. Uh, we got a nice chlorine la layer here, which I'll eventually uh, suck up, filter, and put in some containers or jettison into this space, probably. It's not hurting anything right now. These guys don't have a lot of CO2 to breathe. I added um, some wood burners here. 
Unfortunately, there's a bug with them right now. I have to, I have to keep rebuilding them. Um, there's lumber right here, but for some reason, the, the automation won't load it. I don't know why. It's unfortunate. It was making a bunch of heat and CO2 for these guys. Let's, I guess, deconstruct it and build another one yet again. You know what? We could turn this off instead. They should be manually loading it, to be honest. Yeah. We have uh, a lot of lumber. 700,000 lumber. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Let's deconstruct it. And rebuild it. Unfortunately, they get stuck like that. Once... Oh, now it's working. Now it's working. Cancel deconstruct. Now it's burning. It burns lumber really fast. Check that out. So... Yeah, this one's not working. Let's try to deconstruct this one. What's the priority on these things? Seven and nine. Debuild, rebuild. Okay, we'll put another one back in here. I'm not really needing the slicksters for anything, except for CO2 removal. That's the only reason I'm keeping them down there. I used to have a bunch of water down here. Finally was able to clean all that up, and now we've got some water here. I just noticed from this overflowing a little bit. I think what we'll do is um, put a little wall here. Ultimately, what I should be doing with these steam geysers is using an aqua tuner to cool to cool the steam and a steam turbine to kill off all the heat made by the aqua tuner. It's a pretty easy small build and I should probably do one at some point. Let's check our rocket though. Oh crap, we landed. Okay, luckily they're all safe in sound in the rocket. This turned to sand this time. <laughs> it got so hot. Okay, um, the plan. Let's slow things down here. The plan. What's the temperature like? We got up to 57. I think they'll be okay. I think we can get them in there. Um, first order of business though will be what? Get this water out of the way maybe? Start filtering the stinky air. I guess we'll just let them out. What's the temperature like? I think they'll be okay. Change this to all so they come outside. Here they come. I'll fix the ladder up here. Someone came out and went right back in. <laughs> guess they didn't like it out here. Maybe they had to go to the bathroom. So we gotta get bathrooms up. I wanna start growing mushrooms here. Let's drain this water out of here. We'll put a ladder straight down here. Get this water out of the way. And temperature here is not too bad. Gotta be wary of this tree that likes to eat duplicates. I noticed there was some resin in here. So it ate something. Maybe it's been eating puffs, I'm not quite sure. Okay, here comes the other dupe. So that'll give us a little bit of sand so we can start filtering the stinky air. I'm not sure why I was digging this way. Um, there's probably a reason, but I forget. Let's get the slime packed away. We'll put that right here for now. Uh, let me think about this. We do want to keep a little bit of this water. Maybe. I could put it in there, maybe. Maybe not. 
Maybe we'll put it right here. And dig into here. And we'll store our slime here. Pop drums. Oh, yeah, we got some pressure in there. Okay, we're out of sand already. Oh, I forgot to bring sand. That's what I forgot to bring. Oh, man. Uh, we'll grind some more sedimentary rock. Oh, we got two more to go here. Two, two dupes is not a whole lot to get stuff done. Ceramic. Did I build that out of ceramic? What the heck am I thinking? No, the default is ceramic? Come on. We'll put that there. That's where we're s we'll store some slime. Meanwhile, we're heading down here. These are tungsten volcanoes, I think. Now, we gotta make sure, actually, we don't... Maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe I will put it somewhere else. Maybe we'll put it here instead. Let's cancel that. The reason being is that I don't want them picking up little bits of slime all the time. Just need to close that up. I should probably get all the uh, building materials out in one big. Uh, thing. One big, uh... Go all the way down. Ceramic? Are they building this out of ceramic? Oh, it's because I'm running out of building materials. Okay. I should have gotten up first. Sedimentary rock. Get this building material out of here. Now, I brought some glass so we could build some solar panels to get some power going here. So, uh, well, yeah, we're running out of stuff quickly here. We're gonna put a tile here. No, we want heavy watt wire there. We want a heavy watt joint plate. Right about there. Or we could use a regular wire. Conductive wire. Probably won't need a big power installation on this one. Should have brought some other refined metal other than steel. Because <laughs> building wires out of steel would be a little bit much. But let's get this ladder in first. So we can get this liquid out of the way. Get this out of the way. They're breathing in all that disgusting air. No one's got slime lung yet. That's pretty amazing. The other trick we can do is we can... We could pump all this water into a tank and then deconstruct the tank. Okay, we're gonna dig this down here. Put some ladders in here. Maybe we'll put a floor in here, actually. A mix of floor. And let's go down a little bit deeper here. Just get all that crap out of the way. Now this is going to be slime. We don't want that gassing off everywhere. Organic. Hopefully everything okay is okay on the main planet. <laughs> okay, we'll get that tucked away. Let all that leak out of there. And sedimentary rock. Sand. Let's make this priority eight. But we gotta get the power situation under control first. Since they're gonna be running along here a lot, let's do that first. Okay, someone's trapped. Uh, really? I'm not trapped. 
That was weird. I think I forgot to bring some reed fiber as well, but there's a bunch here. I think we'll dig these mushrooms up. Okay, they're probably gonna go to bed for the night or something here. Starvation. That's a false alarm. Okay, we're getting rid of that CO2 slowly, but surely. That's good. Temperature here is uh, pretty warm. <clears throat> Guess we should probably get all these materials out of here. Ceramic. Oops, wrong asteroid. Oh, we'll check in on things here, make sure it's all okay. No one's stuck, no one dying. Slime lung on the other planet, yeah, okay. Just gotta clean that air, clean that air up. Get this. Okay, so I want a little bit of water stuck here, but the rest of it I want to get out of here. So we'll dig below and let all this crap get out of here. So clean the air, get some bedrooms in here, get some bathrooms in here, even though we got the rocket. And then I want to do a big mushroom farm. Oh, you know what? We need to insulate under the rocket. Big time. So what's the plan for that? Um, I forget how far down the exhaust comes. Pretty far. We need a safe way past this tree. Maybe I'll move my airlock up a bit. Uh, yeah, let's maybe put... Hmm. How should we do this? We could just dig down from here. Or dig over this way. In here. I think maybe I'll just insulate under here. We don't have much material though. Sedimentary rock. I brought a bunch of granite with me though. It's in the rocket. Uh oh, they got slime lung. They got slime lung. Not good. But not surprising. Because of that. <laughs> Disgusting air. Oh, I just dropped them. Not very good of me. Let's uh, head up this way. This is kind of high priority. Uh, Jackson can go to the rocket if he needs to for oxygen. Poor Amanda. How long does slime lung, lung last? 3.2 cycles. They'll survive. Part of being uh, the new colonists on a new world. Okay, we're going to drain the rest of this water out. This will be our slime bucket. I'm surprised they're not stressing out big time because there's a lot of stressors here. We got Slime lung, yucky air. We got, uh, the food's pretty decent. They do have bedrooms and bathrooms, so they're getting the room bonuses. Okay, now we can mop this out, this. And we do need a place for all the CO2 to go. Do some ladders along here. This was kind of a weird spot to put this. We might move this later. We gotta work around this geyser here. Okay, where should I put a little mini bedroom? Put one up here. There's room up here. Got a nice temperature up there. Yeah, that could be nice. Space exposure up to where? Oh, that's all space exposure. Right up to there, okay, hmm. We got room to build a bedroom up here though. A little uh, loft, I think, could be nice. Let's 
let's get up here. We could put a bedroom right up here, maybe. Yeah, let's head up here. So, uh, we need a door. Some beds. This is going to be a really basic bedroom to start. There's only two of them. We'll leave room for decor stuff. That could be it, really. Kind of a nasty bedroom. <laughs> Let's put some airflow in there. That built out. So they want to go sleep in the rocket every night. This is actually growing now, so maybe I'll leave that one lone mushroom. We're good for food, we're good for oxygen for a while. Just let them build away. I'm not going to worry about insulating the rocket just yet, because we're not going to lift off anytime soon. These two are here for quite a while, I think. Let's make sure there's no space exposure right there, we're good there. We don't have an artist here, so but we can we can put some statues in that aren't fully developed. Put a couple of these in. This is priority one. This is nice to have when they get around to it. So we need some clean, fresh water. Uh, we're gonna have to filter some, I think, to get proper toilets going. Proper toilets, let's go full speed here. Uh, let's seal that up. Bring this out. CO2 can fall down, and I'm going to need to... Oh, this water actually piled up here pretty nicely. Let's go all the way down here. Down to the bottom. Oh, wow. Oh! There's a tungsten volcano in the magma. Holy crap. <laughs> That's interesting. Let's double check this is... What is this here? Let's see. Tungsten volcano, yep. Don't really have a big use for tungsten just yet, and we can make it, we can refine it anyway, so it's not like super necessary. Okay, we don't have to dig down here because we got, gotta let the CO2 go somewhere. I like how they did these little mini asteroids because it's kind of like starting over. But you have some resources. Not a lot, but some. Okay, I got the door in. Let's open the door up. So we have a little mini barracks. <laughs> Still cleaning the air. The slime lung will eventually die. We could send more duplicates here, duplicates here, but I don't think I will just yet. Okay, there's not much oxygen in there. Might need some more airflow. There is stuff here on the side. Dig that out a bit. And then let them do some mopping. We'll put a proper floor in under here. This is actually a nice natural plant area. Maybe I won't kill those plants. Maybe we'll just get it under here. 
We lost power. We need we need to get solar going. That's not a critical thing to do just yet. Okay. So solar power. I should do heavy watt wire, but it'll do really bad decor through here. So we'll just do conductive wire, I think. So we'll do a regular tile here. And then we'll get the dupes up here and power solar panel. Maybe right here. And then some conductive wire. Okay, we've got we got steel. That's a big waste of steel. Uh 100, 200, 300, 400. Yeah, we can afford it. It is going to be a little crooked here to start. And we'll join that to the other circuit for now. Should be fine. We got some wire in here too. Copper. Originally I had some aluminum on the rocket, but I uh, deconstructed that thing and I forgot to put it in the actual inside. Okay, they're not going to get through here. That's an issue. Uh, maybe we should make a door for them. <laughs> make a door... Airlock here. And then we'll pop through here. Okay, someone's got to make some power. Probably do this all priority nine. Let's make that six. Otherwise, they won't get anything else done. There we go. A little trickle of power. Now, I think they'll be okay. We can probably leave them be for a bit and come back keep the big dig going on the other planet but I'm after the solar panels I'm gonna get uh, my insulate under here oh we need a bathroom as well we need a toilet and we gotta start growing mushrooms that's priority one let's make that a six drain that out the bottom so since the temperature here is pretty nice we could grow mushrooms in here and let all the CO2 fall down there and help us grow mushrooms. And then we'll feed the mushrooms to this thing. 100,000 calories gives you some amount of resin. I can't remember exactly how much. And we have to safely give this guy some food. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. Because he attacks if you go in there. We'll figure it out though. And it's pretty hot over here. Too hot for mushrooms at the moment. But we got a decent amount of room down here as well. We could come over here. So this would be a big giant mushroom factory that we feed to the tree god experiment 52B. And while they build this thing... Okay. We'll let them build that wire first. I guess we can open this up. So they can build the rest. We are going to leak a little bit of oxygen here, that's fine. We've got lots. We should probably hook up some power to that. We'll replace this wire. Let's get that queued up. We'll use a steel. It's such a waste of steel, but that's okay. We brought a lot. We got a lot on the main planet. Okay, we'll let those guys do their do their stuff, and let's go check out the main planet here. Make sure to keep the pips busy. Get them working on the next one here. Do they have any food left? No, probably all rotted away. So we'll deliver some more. Cook ingredient, slate wheat. And we gotta grab some out of the fridge here. Cook ingredient, slate wheat. Oops. If we have any left. We might not have any left, actually. It might have all rotted away. Hmm. 
Let's make sure we're not cooking it. Frost bun, we're not cooking. Frost bun, we're not cooking. Good. Okay, I think we might have ran out of sleep. We uh -oh, what's going on? What's going on? Someone's trapped. How'd they get trapped? Here? Slow things down. Where the heck is everyone? You're not trapped. Why do you keep saying you're trapped? Maybe it's due to slime lung. Could be. They have a coughing fit and they can't move. Could be it. Okay, here comes the wire. What's the what's the light like on this planet? Hard to tell hard to tell just yet. So we'll do some more solar. We got a little bit of room for more solar, so we're, we're fine for power. Just probably start cleaning up this air. You know what? I should have airlocked this guy in here. We just farted. Okay, how's our oxygen looking here? Much better. I think I'll expand in the bedroom over here. Not because we need more room, but uh, because I want to do some air filtration up here. Top. Don't crash game. Come on. You can do it. You can save it. The save file is getting up to about 23 megabytes now. That wire is only a three. Hmm. Let's make all this a six. Except the power should be an eight. It's slowly get oh, cured of slime lung. You'll probably be getting it again, but. <laughs> well, let's make sure the dupes can't go in here. And you know what? I gotta I got put an airlock here. I gotta trap this guy in here. So we can make a bunch of slime for us. Let's take this out of here. And we'll replace it with an airlock. And we'll make sure the dupes not don't go in here. We do have little bits of gold amalgam, so we should be okay for metal. Come on! Come inside. Come inside. All the way. Come on. Don't stand there like an idiot. There you go. Okay, we're gonna keep them out of there. Here comes the power. Holding a breath. Hungry, holding breath. Yucky lungs. Wow, the stress is not too bad. I think it's because of the rocket. Oh, they got one more wire to do. Thought I was there. Thought I was almost done. Now bleach stone. That's what's keeping this toilet nice and clean. Oh, we started with 11, we got 9. We're fine. Heat in here is okay. Food's fine. How much food we got left? We got tons of food, I think. Yeah, not worrying about food or anything for a while. Let's go back to the main planet and get some projects going because we got 20 idle here. Let's see where I haven't dug yet. Um, got this whole section here. Oh, that reminds me. I had a bit of an emergency where uh, I, w I was down to one suit, if you can imagine, 
And they weren't able to repair the suits because they ran out of reed fiber. Because uh, I had some water not going here. So I went overkill with the reed fiber, as you can see. This geyser is dedicated to making reed fiber. And we've got 900 of it now. Wow, that's a lot. Anyway, we got 900 reed fiber. Uh, so we can continue to repair the suits. Um, yeah. So there was that little emergency. But where should we dig here? Where should we dig? This nice little area here. We could send a pip in here to like try to plant some more sleep weed in here, but I think what I'll do is probably carve this out, even though it's a nice little area. Um, or we could let's let's continue on here. Let's carve this out. And we're okay with letting that chlorine out. So uh, I guess we should go in here and just completely evacuate all this stuff too. There's quite a bit of chlorine in here, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and dig in here. There's uranium in here. We should probably send that to the other planet. But uh, we'll just dig across here. Get in here. It's nice to have all these natural weasworts, but I don't really have a plan for them. So we'll just dig on in here and... We'll leave them in there till the very end. And yeah, all this raw uranium. We could bring the bees here. So it's trapped again, but they're they're not really trapped. Where are they? We got power. Whoa, where are you trapped? You're not trapped at all. That's entombed. Something's entombed. Damage overheated. Oh boy, got hot in here. Let's turn the petroleum off. If above, if below 45. Get the plastic off, that's what's making a lot of heat. And this thing, we made it a cobalt. We'll deconstruct that. And we could actually bring this cooling. We've got this cooling here. This should actually come in here as well. So what I'll do is make some spaghetti here. We'll go up that way. Radiant. Um, we can use granite through here. Should we? Sure. We gotta be able to get back as well. So, let's go like this. Add a lid, we'll go do a bit of a cooling loop here. Uh, we'll need a little bit of room here, and then we'll come back around. And then head back down this way, I guess. That'll provide some cooling for that plastic area. Lag. Save lag. Okay, then we'll insulate this. We'll come back here. And we'll plug in here. It's a good amount of spaghetti. So it should prioritize into the bridge once it's built. Can they get in there? They can't even get in here. Because this is empty. There's no way in here. Uh -huh. Hmm. I never left a way in. But we could... Hmm. <laughs> could pierce through here. I want this natural gas to get out of here. Hmm. Well, we could just let them go through here again, and then we can make a vacuum after again. It's pretty easy. What are we getting alarms for? Tuned. Let's go back here. How are we doing? We got idle dupes. 
Probably. No, they got. Oh, they can't reach that. Can't reach it to mop it. Okay, we need to make some more room here for all this water to go. Let's. Oh, they can't get down to the bottom yet. We gotta think about getting suits as well. A lot of breath holding to go down here. That's okay though. Wow, this thing's churning out tungsten at 3,700 degrees. That's hotter than the magma. Jeez. <laughs> That's a hot damn thing. Hot damn. Filtration medium again. Do we have any regolith up here? Nope. Because we just have to pound some sedimentary rock. We got lots of it, so let's do 10. What's the temperature like in here? This battery shouldn't really be here, it should be out somewhere else, but for now, we'll allow it. Wow, they're working while eating. While floating. Fancy. Okay, we got that back in. We gotta clean some stuff up here as well. Priorities are creeping up. <laughs> What are they doing? They're eat I think the animation is wrong. It must be wrong. They eat while they pound. <laughs> Let's watch this again. Yep, they're eating. <laughs> That's a mistake. That's a cute mistake. Okay. Let's open this up a bit more too. They got lots to do. This, yeah, we want all this to go over here. And then we'll have a little bit of water for our toilet setup. Let's plan that out. The toilet setup should go maybe... Got this little layer here. We could do a little layer in here. I want things to be every four though. So one, two, three, four. I kind of messed this up, to be honest. I kind of want to move the slime to a different spot because this will mess up our floor plan quite a bit. Hmm. Ultimately, the mushrooms are going to go down here, so the slime is going to go down here. Maybe I'll relocate it to the very bottom. Side. We don't want to expose this abyssal light. That's too damn hot. Too damn hot. We are at the one hour mark, but I want to press on here a little bit. Full speed here. Get some stuff done. Let's set these deodorizers six if they aren't already. Maybe seven. The slime lung should be dying in the fresh air. Germs. Dead on oxygen. 29% dead per cycle. Okay, that's good. Probably got enough sand for a little while here. We could automate that sand production. It's a little bit smarter. They go. Let's go toilets. Um, 
Just have to let them get caught up. We'll let them finish off that. We'll come back. Look how they do over here. Oh yeah, so we let them in here. Did they finish the cooling? They did. Oh yeah, nice and chilly here now. That's good. And we gotta put that tank back. But not out of cobalt this time. We'll do it out of gold right here. That was our petroleum buffer tank. This one should probably be changed as well. We'll deconstruct that. Make it out of gold because this area gets pretty warm. before. No, input, output. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Yep. <clears throat> All good. Let's reseal this here. Now that they're done in there. Trapped, but not really. The game lies. Oh, look how fast they are. <laughs> Elite. Let's just get this done first. I'm just gonna make this a nine. I wanna get this water out of here pronto. Could put toilets, um... I mean, this guy's using some space up. We can get rid of him. And use this space in here. We got no power. Oh. Let's set the wheel to one, because we got solar panels now. Solar panel. I think we got some game lag here. We're back to medium speed. Uh... Let's move this down to... I'm going to move my slime. Yeah, we'll move that slime right here. Was that trapped? Not really trapped, but trapped. Yeah, we need to get all this out of here so the CO2 can. We need a place for the CO2 to go. The water to go, the CO2 to go. This should help a lot. And we gotta make sure we're not picking up all that. They can't reach it, so that's good. Ultimately, we'll need to destroy the CO2 or send it out into space. Okay, that'll all leak out of there. That's good. Let's low priority and dig that out. Okay. Bathrooms. You know what? We're going to get rid of this guy. And we're just going to build our floor up here. We'll put a bathroom right here. So let's just plan that out. Take this wall out here. Come on, what's going on? They're not really starving. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. And this water we have to get rid of. We could let it leak down this hole here. Come on, boys and girls. Let's get with the program here. Let's get some stuff done. Okay, I should really move the steel out. 
put some building materials here. So they don't have to go back into the rocket every time they need a little piece of steel. Okay, that's being cleaned. Amanda's just standing around. So let's plan this out. We're gonna need, uh, we just need one toilet. Plumbing, lavatory. I guess we'll have two. Two lavatories, two sinks. Someday we might have more dupes here. Uh, medicine, sinks. Is that the way I want them going? Sure. And then a door will go on this side. But I don't want to build that just yet because we want this water to leak out first. Let's get some stuff done here. Come on. Get some stuff done. This will be a nine. Steel. Glass, plastic, steel. We'll get everything out of here. Out of the rocket. And then the door. Actually, we don't want a door here, but a door on this side. But that's okay for now. Oh my god, they're so slow. Oh, we got stress. Jackson, you're stressing out. We might need a massage table. going on here? Jackson, your stress is from low morale. Okay. You'll have a bathroom soon. I think I'll do this off camera though. You guys, you guys have seen me build a bathroom many, 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 many times. We'll do a sieve down here. Suck up some water here. We'll sieve it. Send it to the bathroom. And just made a mess and that's, uh, that's not okay, but <laughs> it'll, it'll make its way down there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's copy the settings here. Put the slime there. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Oh man. Anyway, we gotta wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we've got the start on the new asteroid. Things are looking good. We will get some mushrooms planted. Maybe we'll do some stuff off camera. Get a little colony established here. And start feeding the tree of doom. Hope you enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye.